What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kruth and today we have remade Dominate by Space Lazy. I recorded the entire session when I made this, but unfortunately the audio did not record. So we're gonna break down everything I learned from this remake in the order that I made it. Start off by saying that the track is at 128 BPM and I believe that it's a D sharp minor. First, we lay down a beat. It's not the same as the one from the original track, but I liked it. And I shortened it. As you can see here, I cut the tail. And right now, we're strictly just gonna talk about the intro. Then we'll get into the buildup and finally the drop. The next thing I added was a clap. This clap is coming from threat saturated drums. But again, I shortened up the tail because it originally has a really long tail and I didn't want that. And I think it's time for me to make saturated drums volume two. Let me know in the comments if you guys want that. After that, I added a hat. This one's from House Hits. And then I grabbed this laser sound from Destruction. I sped it up pitched it up a little bit and I used this little area right here and faded out the tail to make this little laser noise. To make that really loud, I channeled it to the mixer, took out some of the low end and also put this limiter on it. Then I was really, really shocked and surprised by the amount of layers in this intro. And it's awesome to know, and I really wouldn't have known that it had this many layers if I didn't remake this track, because when I listened to it, I wasn't aware of the amount of layers. So the first thing I noticed was a big siren. That repeats after eight beats. And that's also when the claps come in. Now this is glitching up a little bit, so I'm going to consolidate some stuff. Then I noticed that there was this kind of like pad type sound that went up in pitch. So I used this sample here, turned up the crossfade so that it kind of re-loops the sample and obviously turned on the envelope, set the rude notes. And on the piano roll, I put a long, D, pause on that, D sharp note that goes up in pitch right here, about five notes. And that's that. Then I duplicated that pattern and the sample as well. Brought it up, I think like five, maybe like three octaves. So it's really high pitch. And just layered that on the second part. Then we have on the original, kind of like this build up thing on this part. One on one on one on one on. And then like a little laser right here on the fourth beat. And like a vocal too, which I didn't even add. Now I'm using this vocal shot, which I actually don't really like that much, but fuck it, I'm gonna leave it there. It's a vocal shot from Splice. Eh, it's all right. It's not that great. There's a bass fill here. I grabbed this one from our pack Chaos that hits into and this is actually a patch from the new Threat Revolution Volume 2 update. It's called Gnarl. And I don't know if that's a word, but I use this riser here. Not the same as the one in Dominate, but it kind of serves the same purpose, right? Which is just some sort of build up, pitching up effect. Then we have this little laser thing and the vocal. And then finally we have the sub bass following that pad MIDI.
Now, don't judge my mixing. I made this in less than two hours. So that brings us into the eighth beat here. We have everything pretty much the same, but we've added a little drum fill that I super stretched out. A vocal from Come on. Tough Tones and another one from Tough Tones. Make some noise. Now this vocal, I then chopped it to hit on every clap. Make Just like the original, the beat's pretty much the same. We just introduced the claps and that chopped vocal. And on the 13th beat, we added this little noise effect. Which is all right. I actually want to pitch it down. Not that much. It's all right. Cause I noticed that that's what the original one had. Obviously we don't have the exact same sounds, but we have the idea there. Honestly learned a lot from just the intro because it's very entertaining. And the reason why I think it's entertaining is because it's constantly adding more sounds and there's so much layering going on. So it's not boring. There's so much information. I really, really learned a lot. So that brings us into, we have this little glitch from chaos that I faded in on top of the drum fill and that leads us into an impact, a crash, the same pads, except that the higher pitch layer is just one note, it's not going up in pitch. Then we have a sub, no, no, just kidding. It's actually a synth that we made in Serum, which I'll show you in just a second. The sub still continues. So let's listen to the whole thing so that you can hear all the elements I just explained. Before we get into the buildup, I want to explain the sound here. So it's a patch from Revolution Volume 1, our new update, has over 100 presets. I tweaked it a little bit just so that it's similar to the original one. I added a lot of reverb. I'll show you what the original patch sounds like so you can hear the difference. I wish my recording didn't mess up so you guys could have actually seen everything that I did to create this remake, but on the next one, I'll make sure that I'm recording the audio properly and you guys can see everything I do from scratch because I think that that's better for everyone that's learning to learn some new tips and tricks when you see me hit a problem and I solve it. So this is the original patch. So you can see I lowered down the LFO speed and added a lot of reverb. I probably did a couple things to it, but I don't remember what they were. So. That brings us into this crash, adding the vocal a little bit, kind of like introducing it a little bit before we hit the build up. So impact again, impact again when we get into the build up. Now the build up has a snare that pretty much just repeats and goes up in pitch. And then here on the 31st beat, it starts chopping up into triplets. And you can easily put that by changing your grid to a third of a beat. Now that is also followed by this kick. That is also a triplet. But before that, it's four on the floor. And I turned down the volume a little bit, just a bit. We also have that sound that I showed you in Serum fading out in volume. And we have some risers here, as well as this thunder sound from High Energy that I recorded in real life. We also have that weird 
compression noise thing, the vocals, and then we have the pre-drop vocals fading in. We're using mostly Threat Collective samples. Pretty much 90% of all the sounds in here are coming from Threat Collective. And it's actually from High Energy, this vocal. So let's play everything together and let me make sure I'm not forgetting about any other elements, and I am. The last element that I was forgetting about was this sub, which starts here, but you can see I've lowered down the volume a lot on this note, and then it actually is an even lower volume note, the slide note that brings it up two octaves. So. This is all stuff that I noticed from the original track. I may have missed some things, but we've got a lot of elements from the original track here. Similar, not the same. Let's listen to the buildup now. And I also removed the bass frequency, the sub frequencies from that track, from this pad. Like I said, don't judge my mixing on here. I made this in less than two hours, probably like an hour and 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I still wish I didn't fuck up the recording so you guys could have seen everything. Anyway, let's talk about this little pre-drop. Like I said, I faded in the vocals using the Mod X automation here, which kind of serves like a low pass. And that goes into a little, little snare thing, which is just three. Let me put the grid back to one fourth so you can see exactly where I've placed it. Or here, I'll put it on a, on a step. So it's on every step. Bop, 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 bop. And then um, one of my favorite sweeps that I've ever made, it's actually from a lamp that I used to have when I lived back in California. Um, and this is from my pack Threat Hybrid Bass. You guys have pretty much access to all of my signature sounds, but it doesn't matter because I'm still super unique, even if I give you guys my sounds. We hit the bass here, the bass line, which I'll play from Serum. And like I said, it's called Gnarl, and we did make a couple of tweaks to it, but it's really not big at all. I think it was just one thing that we changed, and that is the fact that we changed the, we turned on the noise oscillator and changed it to bright white. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing that we changed from the patch. It's a pretty sick patch. And it only sounds like that with this waveform, I've noticed. When I change the waveform, it does not sound like that. That is going through some effects, but really it's not that crazy. We just have some trash too to give it a little bit more grit on the high end. So I turned on the multi-band and put a triangle clipper on the third band, which just affects the high end. So without it. With the trash. Barely any difference, right? Then we have the bass formidifier available on my Patcherax Volume 2. And I really just use it to give it a little bit of width on the mid and high frequencies. Then I put a Pro L just to keep it safe, a limiter. And then finally, I also have this EQ here, which I believe I'm only really using to low pass the bass when we get to the end of this section here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the effects on there. Um, then we also have a sub layered on that, and that sub is another patch rack, which is just a sine wave going through some wave shaping and limiter. You can add harmonics with the wave shaper with this knob here, and it's available inside Threat Patcherax Volume 2, following the same MIDI, which is very, very simple. I figured it out in like 10 seconds. That leads us into the fact that we have a little bit of a vocal shot right here before the drums come back in. Come 
Then I added this little effect here that I made really quickly. The original one has more of like a cooler one that's like, it's like more bubbly. Oh my God, and it actually doesn't repeat as much as I put this one. It's like on the second beat of every bar. Did not notice that. I feel like I don't have any sounds like that, like little wheel thing like that at all. Uh, maybe I can find one, but I don't feel like it. So I'm gonna keep explaining what I added. So basically, keeps going, keeps going. Same beat from the intro, you know, kick and clap with the little shuffle at the end. Then we get into the second section where I added this high pitch hard trap lead. Uh, again, it doesn't have any effects. Maybe I should side chain this. Let's side chain it. And this is from Revolution Volume 1. It's called Hard with a V. Very subtly in the back. And I also noticed that on like the end, the clap was a little bit louder. So I just layer, I doubled up the clap. I wasn't gonna make this part because I didn't know how I could make it, but I think I got something kind of close and I'll explain how I got that right before I do that. I'm gonna tell you about this little fill break part. So we have the same kind of pattern from the pre-drop and then the triplets from the end of the buildup. <laughs> Then we have the drum fill that I stretched out and that glitch fading in as well as the come on, come on. vocal and the bass getting cut, getting low passed, not cut, the high, getting high cut or low passed, however you want to look at it. All right, so this second part, we have some bass fills. This one's from Hybrid Bass, which I pitched down. First of all, I want to point out that we have the sub playing here and the sounds that we're using here, which are not side-chained, which I should probably side-chain. Let's side-chain it, let's. It's all right, what if I put a limiter on it and just like make it a little bit louder? Cause I think it got quieter after the side-chain. What the fuck, this is not a limiter. Yeah, I laughed when I first heard that. I was like, bro, that sounds so dorky. It's the end. I was like, you know what, fuck it. I think we've got like a pretty cool thing going and I've taught you guys a lot, but this is what I said when I actually made it and I was recording it. But anyway, let me break down what's going on in this part. So yes, we have this bass from Hybrid Bass layered with the sub, again, D sharp. And we have first a sound that's like four on the floor. If you notice on the original one, there's like an alarm, like ding, ding, ding. So shout out to my boy Ghidorah for this one. So it's basically just, let's see, let me solo it. And then on the second section, it goes up in pitch. The second sound is kind of like an offbeat. And this one is also by my boy Ghidorah and all of these sounds I mean, presets are inside high voltage. These two here that I'm showing you. Available at Threat Collective. So that with the sub and the other sound. Super hard, bro, super hard. At the end of those two bars, we have this drum fill from our pack Raid, which has a lot of these. And this other one shot, which I think Fits, but not really. Like if I was really working on this song, I would put some more distortion on this one to kind of like blur it and blend it in more into what's going on, but just doing this for fun. And also to show you some of the sounds that we have at Threat Collective. That brings me to this little glitch thing that I'm fading in. And I notice that a lot. 
on Space Laces tracks. Super cool technique that I'm gonna be using a lot more now. Now on the original one, it has a way cooler sound here. But yeah, I kind of just repeated the same little with a different synth. And for the drum roll, it's the same drum roll from earlier, but double time, so it's faster. And on this part, basically kind of changed that sample with a different one. I think it's this one. It's from Raid, I just faded it out. Sounds like that. So just to get that main transient. And I'm also gonna try to see what happens if I bring down that four on the floor sound, one octave, Sounds corny, bro. Alright, finally we cut the drums and bring back the original bass line. And that's it for this remake, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to download this project, it's available for my Patreon, so consider becoming a Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.